By clinching the Constructors' World Championship with four races to go, it's quite clear that one car was head and shoulders above the rest in Formula 1 in 2019, the Mercedes W10. What a day for Mercedes. Awesome job, guys. And for the fifth time in a row, it's the Mercedes 1-2. Earlier this month, I got the opportunity to drive this very car. But first, a trip to Brackley. I've come to Mercedes today to have a seat fit in the 2019 W10. When the phone rang and they said, would you like to have a go in Lewis's car, I thought somebody was joking. The next thing I know, I had an email from Mercedes arranging the date for the seat fit and a simulator session and a time with their engineers to learn about all the controls on the steering wheel and stuff. So it's going to be a busy day at the factory, um, but most importantly, we're going to have a go next week. Let's go in. I first came here when this place was called BAR. It's changed a bit. I think the, the column position is actually okay. You know, where my arms are, I'm quite happy yeah. with that. This little padding there is quite nice, actually, for the lower back support. We'll be running a Strat 7 when you're on track. I'll always give you the okay. Strat 7 just before you get to the final corner. Just switch over. OK, I think we're, I think we're there. That was actually one of my easier seat fits. I've been at seat fit sometimes, just taken 12, 14 hours. But fortunately, I fit straight into Valtteri's seat, which was surprisingly comfortable, even all the padding he's got for his back and shoulders was, was spot on. Um, Lewis's his pedals were a bit close, so I've got Esteban Ocon's pedals and Lewis's steering wheel and column. So we've got a bit, bit of a mixed match, but we made it work, and I'm comfy in there, so yeah, very happy. Every simulator is just a little bit different. This is, I feel like I'm getting into Anthony's domain, really. He pretty much lives in this room from what I hear. There'll be strap one on the outer lap. I could not believe how much grip it's got in the high speed. It's got me even more excited, to be honest, to have a go on the real thing, because I saw Lewis's qualifying laps and his amazing fastest lap of the race, and I just couldn't believe the car could have so much grip through Beckett's. Now, having driven the sim, it's just astonishing. So, uh, yeah, it's wet my appetite a bit more for next week. Oh my god, if they decide to beat 